in front of me is supposed to be the freaking bee's knees. This is a MacBook Pro with Apple's brand new M5 processor, which they have touted to contain the single fastest performance core on any processor on the fucking planet. And that is a pretty big deal. It's a game that Apple has been leading for some time now. And the M5 chip in this brand new MacBook Pro 14 inch should be no exception. I have heard some pretty crazy things, but to be honest, this has been kind of a weird launch, right? You have the world's fastest single processing core and you don't even run an event for it? They just randomly dropped this new MacBook Pro on like a Wednesday morning, went, well, if you want to pre-order it, I guess so. Okay, before we get into it though, what else is in the box here? We've got a sleeve 2 meter USB-C to MagSafe cable. That's the fancy magnetic thing. Whoa, this is really long. You see if I stick it on here, whoop, it just magnets on there. And then you can't accidentally just like shit rock your USB-C cable. And then we got propaganda and no Apple stickers because this timeline is cursed. And last but not least, the charging brick. Now by default, these come with a 70 watt charging brick, which to be honest, for a base MacBook Pro, which is the configuration I have, this is plenty, but you can optionally switch to a 96 watt charger if you feel like it for 20 bucks. But I, I wouldn't bother to be honest. Look at that. Wow, USB C break is pretty cool there. And that's it. That's all that's in the box, man. Look at that. Wow! Charger, cable. Look at that. It's a MacBook, and it comes in the exact same color, exact same shape, and exact same weight as last generation. Maybe that's why Apple like didn't have an event to talk about this thing. We'll get into the CPU soon because the specs on paper sound very, very impressive. But first, let's take a look at the ports on the outside. We've got the usual MagSafe dual Thunderbolt 4 and 3.5 mil audio jack that we're used to on the past couple generations of MacBook. And on the other side, we've got an SD card reader, another Thunderbolt 4 type C port and an HDMI port. It's all the same as last generation. It's not until we get to the inside. Okay, well, a little bit more inside than this is. I mean, the keyboard, the speakers, the webcam, everything that you can see here is also the same. And if you don't believe me, see what I mean? They're exactly the same. M4 Max, 14 inch, M5, 14 inch. There's also another thing that hasn't changed and this one has me pretty cheesed. So here's a Wi-Fi speed test of the M4 MacBook running over six gigahertz to the Enterprise 7 access point behind me from Ubiquiti. And as you can see, it's very fast with Wi-Fi 6E. Look at that, bam, over a gigabit both ways. However, if we do the exact same test on the M5 MacBook, we get pretty much the same results. That's because it also still only uses Wi-Fi 6E, when Wi-Fi 7 is pretty much the standard on every high-end device, including the new iPhones. I literally got speed test results higher than this off of an iPhone. That means my iPhone has faster peak Wi-Fi speeds, which is kind of weird, to be honest. It's just a little bit frustrating. It's a pretty first world problem, to be honest. The only genuinely new thing 